Hello, welcome everybody, and welcome to Didia Media, and welcome to the fifth episode on Teen Series. Yeah, my name is Didia Marchi Precious, and if this is your first time of seeing any of my videos, I say a whole lot of stuff that are contrary to the opinion of the public, but follow me too, we're going to make sense at the end. Yeah, and today we're going to talk about a sensitive topic, and that is handling a child by influence. Handling a child by influence. And let's start by defining what influence is. According to the dictionary, Influence is the ability or capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. The capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. And I've really come across some teenagers, some teenagers that you really don't force them to do what they do not want to do. And trust me, they're not stubborn, they're not rebellious. Um, it's a personality type. You don't force them to do what they do not want to do. And how do you bring up such things? You bring up such things by having an influence on them. You do not. Yeah, you don't win them by do, by being their boss. You don't always win them by exercising authority because one day you lose the authority. You 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 win them by having an influence over them. And one of the ways to do that, first of all, do not be their boss. Be their friend. It is funny but true. And sometimes you will feel, why must I have to explain to a child before he has to do? Mm -mm. Sometimes eh, it is good you explain to them why they do, why they have to do what they have to do. Because if you're always wanting to exercise authority, you might not win them that way. Like I said earlier, be their friend, not their boss. Do not be a headmaster every time. It is not going to work that way. Do you know why I said be their friend? Because there's a there's a saying that says um show me your friend and i'll tell you what you are and that is because uh friendship has a way of rubbing up on each other it has a way of influence people get influenced either consciously or unconsciously by their friends and that is why people are being advised to that's why you're being advised to be their friend rather than their boss okay secondly add value according to pastor wisdom or siri he said influence is value and when i say add value i'm saying be a fan of their dream not every child must be a doctor, not every child must be an engineer, not every child must be a nurse or a lawyer. Be a fan of their dream. If your child wants to go into music, support their dream, support their dream. If your child wants to go into business, support their brand. Sincerely. And look for people who have succeeded in that area to mentor them or look for people like that that could be their role model. Yes, influence their the head work influence. Be a fan of their dream. And um, when I'm talking about, um, I'm not trying to say they shouldn't do house chores. I'm not trying to say um, you cannot use authority on them, especially when they have to do something they have to do. You must not really beg them to do house chores. Then you can shout at them to do what they have to do. I'm talking about something that has to do with their purpose and their destiny. Yes, don't really force them to do what they don't want. Yeah. And if you think something is good for them and you think they should really go there, you don't really win them by being a boss over them. You win them by being their friend. You win them by influencing them. And lastly, I don't really want to talk much. And lastly, educate them. Yes, educate them. Give them the reasons why they have to go this way. Or give them, like, educate them. I really don't know how to stress on this. I'm not a mother yet. I really don't have to stress on this. But I've, I've come across things and I've come across some ch children. It is, it, they, they find it easier to obey when you involve them in the planning. They find it easier to obey when you discuss and when you educate them on that. And by that, you build influence. Because I've seen some children, I've come across some teenagers that what they will not tell their parents, they'll come and tell me. And I'll be like, why don't she have this kind of confidence? That's because her parents is not supporting her dream. And she really wants to do that. So their parents, their guardian, be a fan of their destiny, be a fan of their thing. And buy things for them because gifts are soft to you um some people say i'm not moved by gifts yeah you're not moved by gifts it's true but the thing is that um uh, instead of saying you're not moved by gifts anybody that you don't have an influence over you reject their gifts because gifts are soft to and people that give you gifts or money or something they unconsciously have one influence over your life unconsciously gifts are soft to so if you can you do that for your child it's it will be interesting add value to them educate them and be their friend and not their boss i'm gonna see you next week on 10 series 
and if you're yet to subscribe please please i'm begging you subscribe then like follow take an action on this video depending on the platform you're watching now thank you very much my name is didia amara chipper and i'll see you next week on teen series goodbye